here we have our three classes. Superclass can be thought of as client and there's two subtypes. There's either a registered client or a holiday client. First of all, we need to draw the generalization line before we can design a upon a generalization set. So to draw the generalization line, we just simply click on the option there which says generalization and we move from the subclass to the superclass in each instance. And what we want to do is draw a line which has a bend in it so it looks nice. And we do that by pressing down the control key and then clicking on the left mouse button. So let's consider the first one. Subclass, two there, press the control key, then left click the mouse button and then we go up to a duper class. Click on generalization again and do exactly the same thing. Click on the control key, then left mouse click and then up to our superclass. And then we can just adjust the generalization line. Now as I say there's three ways of defining a generalization set and I'll show the easiest way first. You'll notice you can click this generalization line in three places. You can click it in each of the sub branches or the main stem at the top. Click on the main stem at the top and then right mouse click we get a different pop-up menu to what we would get if we clicked on the left or right sub-branch, as I'll show you. You'll notice there, what well, the important thing is, we do get a generalization set and then new generalization set in the sub-menu wherever we click. Alright, I'll just repeat that, so if we click there, and we get generalization set, new generalization set there as well. I will click in the middle, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Generalization set we want there, and then it sometimes jumps, as you can see. We want new generalization set there. And we want to make sure we choose data. And notice that there are four little things down here, and it tells you in the bottom corner of your screen what each of these are. You must make sure that the element creation mode is highlighted, is selected. If it isn't, um, you won't get the OK option, or you do get OK, but you won't get Create Owner. But you must make sure that's selected. All right, so you click OK, and then we come up with the Generalization Set dialog box, and we're going to call this Generalization Set Patient Type. Notice I put an underscore between them because I'm old-fashioned, and it says that that Generalization Set consists of two generalizations. One from holiday to client and then the other registered to client. And there's two options here which you should know about. Is disjoint is covering. The disjoint option means are we thinking about an and or or situation. So if disjoint is true by clicking on it, that means that it can only be a registered type or a holiday type of client. They can't be one which includes both registered and holiday types. So that's true because they can only be a registered or holiday client in this situation. The other option is is coloring and you can think of that as that's saying it have we defined all the subtypes for this class. If we have defined all the subtypes then we want to say that is true. Um, for the moment I'm going to say no that is false. There might be in future another subtype of client such as I don't know, private holiday client or uh, unregistered pop-in client. So we'll leave that as false. So once we've done that, we just click close. Sometimes you do not get the generalization set name appearing. And if you click carefully on the actual main trunk, not on the actual name, which you wouldn't see anyway, but on the main trunk, Right, and then get the pop-up menu by right mouse clicking. You'll see there's an option which says Show Generalization Set. So if that isn't suggest selected, then it disappears. And then if we select it, it reappears. Obviously, the other thing we want to see as well is if this is an overlapping or if it's a is covering type 
generalization. And to do that, we actually do click on the name. So we need to be able to see the name of the generalization set before we can do this. Then right mouse click, and you can see there's an option there that says show complete disjoint. If we click on that, then it gives us the full specification. So that is the first way of doing it. Notice that in the containment window, we've now got this little symbol here. So what we have is our three classes and the diagram icon and then this little thing here which is actually the generalization set. If we click on it, you'll see it just brings up the generalization set dialog box. So it's always good to check the containment panel to see if it reflects what you think you're doing in this diagram. Right, so we can actually get rid of this generalization set very easy by clicking on there as it is, right mouse click and then say delete and the whole thing's gone. Um, we still have a generalization line, that is because it is within this option here, relations, generalization, generalization, there, for each of the classes. And we'll come back to that in a minute with the third way of specifying the generalization set second way of specifying the generalization set is to gain click on here or click on a side branch but I will recommend you click on the main branch when you do this I'll show you what happens when you click on a side branch now because um, it just means one extra step so we click on the side branch there to registered then right mouse click and this time choose specification with specification we get the generalization but not the generalization set dialog options this time and you'll notice there's a generalization set here option so we click on that and then it spans but what we want to do now is click on these three little buttons here which is the edit buttons and we get a similar dialog box we had before click on data again make sure that's selected as we can't see the create click on create and there's a generalization set right. so again we go with the same name because we deleted it if you remember patient underscore type and if you remember we said it is disjoint that's true but we might have some other subtypes in future so that's false um, click close and there it is OK, say close again, and nothing has happened. That is because we've only defined it for this one limb. We need to define it for the other limb as well, so we click on the other limb and then go generalization set, and this time we've got an option there of actually choosing the generalization set we defined for the other limb. And we apply it to that as well. Now if we go back to the center and say show generalization set, we have the name. And if you remember, we click on here now and say show complete disjoint, we have exactly the same effect. And if we look over here, exactly the same thing as before. So that's the second way of creating the generalization set. Right, again, let's delete that and now we we'll create the generalization set the third way the third way involves using the containment panel rather than the actual diagram panel so if we look here so let's say we have three classes and a diagram icon and also two classes we see that they've got relation which is a generalization and we could have actually created that in the containment window without drawing the diagram at all we would have just gone to the class and then right mouse clicked on it and suggested new relation and we could have created our generalization lines like that they wouldn't have appeared on the diagram but they would have been defined in the model so to actually specify the generalization set in the containment window we just select our generalization and then select specification and now we have a similar 
dialog box which we had before we've got a generalization set that that particular generalization line belongs to so we click on edit make sure we choose data as usual make sure this edit creation mode option is selected so we can click on create and we want to create a new generalization set and we call the generalization set as we've done the last two times patient type clicking off it it adds it to the qualified name we can ignore and because we click there it's just expanded up box which we can forget about and we now select our disjoint and covering options which we said it was a disjoint relationship and that is it is not covering it's not defining all the subtypes again which is fine and we just say close and again OK and we've got a little option that we don't need to know about there and then click close to that as well and so notice there nothing's happened on the diagram but something's happened there if we go to the other one the other generalization option and we click down here specification we want to say that one belongs to the patient type generalization set as well Let's see, close that and now notice that both of these generalization associations have an extra little bit at the end which is patient type which is the actual generalization set they both belong to and we have this additional little icon there which is our generalization set again we don't see anything here unless we click on the root right mouse click and say show generalization set and then actually click on the generalization set name and then click show complete disjoint 